Hi everybody, welcome back to a very windy and very blustery and very damp day up here at the storage centre. Now you've probably already guessed the subject matter of today's video. Uh, I am indeed going to be talking to you about trackers and uh, I'm going to be talking to you about what they are, how they work, some common misconceptions and uh, some advice on hooking up for a tracking service. So uh, I don't think I'm going to stand out here much longer because the greys look really, really dark in front of me. It's very windy. You probably can't hear me. So let's nip inside the van and make a cup of coffee. Okay, so what is a tracker? Well, it's a box of electronics which sits inside your caravan, discreetly hidden away, and it's connected to your power supply, so your leisure battery usually, and it's also connected to your alarm in your caravan. And usually they do very little. They occasionally talk back to a control centre, uh, but they really come into their own when the alarm is activated. Now the kettle has just boiled, so I'm just going to make myself a coffee. I'll come back and I'll tell you exactly how they work. So how does a tracker actually work? Well, a tracker is a small box of electronics and it has a lot in common with a smartphone. It has a GPS tracker and it talks to the mobile networks as well. So how it works is this. It gets its location and the current date and time from the GPS satellites which are flying above our heads right now. The tracker relays this information along with the state of the alarm and the state of the battery, including the voltage, and it relays this information back to the service centre. The tracker really comes into its own when the alarm is activated. The alarm will switch on or wake up the tracker and the tracker then constantly updates the service centre, lets them know that the alarm has been activated, what its current location is and whether the battery is still connected. Now when that happens, the service centre will contact the owner and let the owner know that the uh, tracker has been activated and lets them know where the location of the caravan is, whether it's moving and what possibly has happened. So once the tracker has been activated and the owner has been notified, if the owner believes that there is a problem, they obviously contact the authorities and the authorities take all the information down and then start tracking the vehicle directly themselves. So that's the process. Um, let me just have a quick swig of coffee a minute and I'll tell you and clear up some misconceptions about trackers. Right, misconceptions of a tracker. Now there is a few rumours going around um, and a misinformation in fact of trackers. Uh, so let's just clear some of those up right now. Uh, some people say that with a tracker plugged into your caravan, it flattens the battery. Um, if anything is plugged into your battery, it will flatten the battery. You see, the battery is not an infinite power source. It doesn't matter how big your battery is, it doesn't matter how small it is, over time and give it long enough anything plugged into it will flatten the battery eventually so i did some measurements on our tracker now we have a phantom tracker installed in this caravan and i can confirm that yes the tracker does pull a little bit of current that's not the bulk of the power drain from the battery when you have a tracker installed obviously the alarm needs to be enabled you see with the tracker and the alarm plugged in there is a power drain but it's not a lot, it's about half an amp. That does mean though, however, that with a battery the size of ours, we've got about three weeks of the battery being in good shape before uh, it will go flat. That's the reason why we installed our solar panel and if you want to know more about how we did that, click up the link up here and that'll show you our installation in the caravan. So you need to manage your power source somehow. You either need to have a spare battery which you can swap over, have a solar panel which keeps the battery trickle charged or have it connected at home maybe on the electric hookup. Either way you will need to keep your battery in tip-top condition. Now the other misconception is that you can buy tracker blockers and uh, signal blockers and uh, it completely makes the tracker useless. Well anybody that knows me will know that I'm a bit of a radio geek. Uh, I do love my amateur radio and I've obviously got my second channel which you may or may not know about um, and I've done some research into this and yes you can buy signal blockers and yes you can block the signals from any mobile source. The fact is this, you need to be right on top of the tracker. 
you need to know where the tracker is and you need to be right on top of it in order to confidently block all its signals. Now, in order to get to my tracker, you have to enter the caravan. To enter the caravan, the alarm will go off. If the alarm goes off, the tracker has been activated. Therefore, before you've even found the tracker, it's already signalling to the control centre that there is a problem. So the whole misconception is slightly self-defeatist. They do work if you're right on top of them, granted, but you have to be right on top of them. I can't tell you how good that coffee is. Right, the third misconception. Uh, a lot of people say that they wouldn't want their caravan back after it was stolen. Well, that's a personal choice, obviously, and that is purely up to you whether you want your caravan back or not. Personally, I would want it back. Um, that's the reason why we have a tracker. That's the reason why we have uh, insurance on our caravan, because we want to make sure we get our property recovered. The fact is, though, and this is something to bear in mind, the recovery time on a caravan or motorhome is really quite quick versus that of a caravan that hasn't got a tracker you know in some cases caravans are never recovered and never found but with a tracker a lot of the cases and a lot of the times they are recovered and they are brought back now as i previously mentioned in this video we are customers of phantom trackers i really recommend them this isn't sponsored and this isn't a paid for advertisement for them but we are customers of them and we've been with them now for two and a half years and my experience has been nothing but fantastic uh, on the odd occasions where the alarm has accidentally gone off, I uh, get a phone call straight from the control centre and a human talks to me and tells me what is going on with my caravan and asks me if everything is okay. Now the times that I've had the caravan in service, they've been able to tell me that the battery has been disconnected and the caravan is on the move. And that was just the service centre taking the caravan down the road, sorting out a problem with one of the brakes and bringing it back. And I was able to watch all of this on the app that they supply. Now, one of the benefits of having a Phantom Tracker is they supply a great app which you can have on your phone and you also have a portal on your computer. Now, the benefit of this is that you can log into it and check to see your caravan is nice and safe and exactly the same position where you left it. But also, if your caravan or motorhome is in storage, you want to make sure that the battery is okay, you can log in and it will tell you the current voltage on your battery. Which for us is fantastic, seeing as that we keep our battery in our caravan connected to the solar panel, we want to ensure that everything is okay and the battery hasn't gone flat. Finally, a word on the tracking companies themselves. There are obviously others, there is Phantom, which we use, and there are others which are commonly available as well. If you're going to have a tracker in your caravan, use a preferred company. Don't be tempted to buy the cheap and nasty ones that you can get from eBay, because they are not approved types. When you're buying a tracker, you're not just buying the box of tricks. You're buying somebody to look after your caravan, to check to make sure it's working okay, to contact you in the event of a problem and to keep on top of your investment if the unthinkable might happen. So when you're buying a tracker, bear that in mind. Obviously they're more expensive when you buy them from an approved dealer. But here's the thing, when you insure your caravan, make sure you tell them that you've got the tracker installed because you will get a discount for having one installed in your van. There we go guys, I hope that's been useful for you. I hope it's given you an overview on uh, trackers today. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to pop them below. But if you've got any specific questions or technical questions, you might be better off just talking to one of the big tracking companies. Like I said, I'm with Phantom, so I would recommend you have a chat with those guys. They're very approachable. And uh, when I had some technical questions some time ago, uh, I was able to pick up the phone, talk to a human, and they gave me the answers that I needed. So I really do give them the big thumbs up. Um, I'm not being sponsored or paid for to say that, but that's my experience, so I can only give you that uh, directly. So until next one, hopefully we'll be outside when it's a bit nicer and a bit warmer and uh, not so windy. And uh, until next week, guys, we'll see you again soon. Bye now.